Hey guys, Phobia again. Uh, today what we're going to go over is the Shadow Priest pre-patch guide of essentially the what I'm running, uh, the breakdowns, maybe some alternate specs you guys can run if you want to do something a little bit different than I'm doing. And at the end, I'm going to have a bunch of different clips and videos of uh, last night just playing around with the spec in some arenas, a couple duels, uh, and I'll keep putting out more videos on the, the different specs to use and just, you know, more duels and more videos and more maybe 3v3s just to give you guys an idea of what we look like in arena. We are so good right now. Shadow Priest is looking insane for Dragonflight, uh, especially during the pre-patch. I'm very excited about it. The build I'm running is a different than others. People are trying to do this burst build. I am doing this consistent damage build that, in my opinion, outperforms every other build by a huge margin in arena. Uh, even in duels. Uh, so I'm going to go over that with you guys real quick. So this is kind of what I'm running here, all right? So a lot of you guys out there are going to want to run Dark Ascension or Void Eruption. As you can see, I don't run any of that at all. Don't need it. So the reason behind that before we get into it is, you know, Dark Ascension gives you 20%, 25% more burst on a one-minute cooldown, and Void Eruption gives you burst on a two-minute cooldown. Most people are going to choose Dark Ascension as the burst build if they're going to go that route. And the, the reason why I don't run this is because all that really is doing for you is giving you a bigger mind games. That's essentially all you're getting from that is a bigger mind games, right? And people are running Ancient Madness with that because they want to do this, combine together to get the big one-shot crit mind games. But the way I see it is if you don't kill someone with that mind games, your, your, your pressure is just essentially null and void. And so I run this consistent pressure. You'll see all the little nodes I have here, and I'll go over them. And what my build does, it's all based around procs, and those procs buffing other procs. And I essentially have burst the entire game. And when you go, when we go into some of the videos, you'll see the consistent pressure is insane. And I'll, like I said, I'll keep uploading videos for you guys to be able to see consistently how this build continues to be strong. It's not just one or one match here, one match there. It's consistently a strong build. So we're going to go ahead and start with my priest tree, all right, guys? So I go with Dispel Magic, and you know I'll just reset my talents for you guys, make it easier to track, all right? So I'm going to start with Dispel Magic and Purify Disease. The reason why I'm doing that is because we're going to be queuing into a lot of DKs, a lot of other priests. Uh, having the disease, I essentially have that baseline. You could take it out uh, if you don't want to run a baseline, but I'm putting it as my baseline. Uh, then I go into Improved Flash Shield for Stronger Flash Shield. And then I go into Protective Light over uh, From Darkness Comes Light. Because in Arena, you're, you're going to have an MS on you. So you're not going to get as much value out of this as you would. Because how long it takes to stack, too. you got to get your dots out. They have to roll. It probably takes about 30 seconds or so. While if you run Protected Light, you just heal yourself once and you have a wall for 10 seconds. You can do that when you see a healer's getting about to get CC'd. You can throw it up. You can do it before. Uh, you run in, you just throw it up on yourself, go in, try to just take a little bit of extra um, nullification before you get into a fight. And so that's what I, I run Protective Light over uh, Coming Light. Then I go down here to Leap of Faith to grab the... You, you have to have Leap of Faith. You have to have that grip. There, there's no way around it. And then I go over here to the right side and I grab Psychic Voice for the reduced fear. I grab Phantasm. If you guys don't know what that is, it, it makes your fade remove all uh, slow effects. And then I go down here to Mind Control, obviously. We need Mind Control. And then it's either Sheer Terror or Void Tendrils. And 99% of the matches, you're going to want to run Void Tendrils. So there's really no reason not to. The only reason I would see people running like Sheer Terror is if you're going to go the Yogg Shiraj build and you want, don't want your fear, your fear to break while your teammates could still break your fear, I, I, I wouldn't even, I'm not even touching that. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go over that early, uh, later on. So. After that, you go to Vampiric Embrace and Sandaline, which is, if you guys remember, used to be Sandaline or Dispersion, uh, improved Dispersion and Tangibility. Well, now you get a baseline, reduces your Vampiric Embrace cooldown and gives it more healing, which it's already nerfed, so you're going to want that. And then two in Throws of Pain just to in increase your Shadow or Pain damage. Go over here, grab Power Infusion, move with Grace. And again, my build is for arenas, guys. Like, yes, you can run Shackle Undead. Uh, you, if you're doing a duel, you don't obviously you don't need Move of Grace. You're not going to need Twins of the Sun Priestess for duels. But 
I'm doing an arena build. So this, grabbing Move of Grace, grabbing Twins of the Sun Priestess. I love Body and Soul. I don't run the Feather because I have Body and Soul. Don't need that extra Keybind. And you're really only going to be able to kite when you have Fade up. That's about the only time you're going to be actually be able to kite is Fade, Body and Soul. Or else you're just going to get C you're going to get slowed again, and Body and Soul is not going to do much for you. They're just going to spam slow you. So then you go Twist of Fate. I do not run Apathy because generally you're going to be every comp you're going to run has a slow as a Shadow Priest. Don't need it. All right. So. Then you get MD and improved MD. And then after you get MD and improved MD, you're going to move over here, get your mind games, all your points, big shattered, and then translucent image. This is obviously for pre patch. This is not um, for when we hit level 70 and we have the, our extra points. You can go down to improve fade, get void shift. If you're playing 2v2 or uh, and you have a healer and you don't want to run void shift, you can go down here to angelic bulwark for that build but realistically you're going to want to go to the void shift route when you get higher uh more points if you're fighting melee and you're actually having trouble you can go into the blessed recovery route i will say shot priests are pretty tanky right now for the most part especially with the healer so i wouldn't recommend uh going there just yet but maybe at 70 it's a good good, good way to go and that right there is going to be my priest version of the tree devouring plague dispersion shadow apparitions silence don't really have a choice got to grab all of them all right next here we're gonna grab tangibility that reduces your dispersion and increases um the heal so gotta grab it baseline misery if you guys are not familiar with what misery does anytime you apply uh vampiric touch it implies shadow or pain anything that does that so when you use shadow crash and your shadow crash applies vt it also applies shadow or pain when you unfurling darkness it'll apply shadow word pain uh when you damnation it applies all three obviously but you know it apply, adds shadow or pain anything that would apply vt applies it so you want to have it okay next up we're going to psychic horror because that's our stun it's either our stun or our silence we want our stun we need that extra cc to set up uh, goes for your team and also just it's a great peel down here this is where people start to like veer off uh, i go mind spike surge of darkness mind melt so mind spike is a new ability that we got it's because you only want to use mind spike by the way when it's instant cast so people have been asking me that on stream uh do you ever hard cast mind spike almost never there's almost never a time i'd rather mind spike over mind flay as my filler um, especially because of the build I run, and Mind Spike gets more damage based off of Surge of Darkness. Vampiric Touch, Devouring Plague have a chance to get cause your Mind Spike to do 200% more damage, stacking three times. What that means is you can get three procs of Surge of Darkness, which gives you three free Mind Spikes, and Mind Spike gives insanity, but it also increases the damage of Mind Spike. Why is that also a good thing? Well, because your instants go down here to Mind Melt, Mind Spike reduces the cast time of your next Mind Blast by 50% and increases its critical strike by 25% stacking twice. So you do Mind Spike twice, you get a free Mind Blast that will most likely crit. And that crit is going to be, uh, well, it's going to be an instant cast Mind Blast, but that crit will give you insanity down here with Whispers of the Dam. But what I'm trying to get at right here to show you guys is everything correlates into each other, right? They all proc and buff each other and when you go to this side of the tree with coalition shadows puppet master and harness shadows coalition shadows is what makes all this work so mind seer shadow or pain have a six percent chance to grant coalition shadows mind flay has a 25 percent chance stacking three times mind blast and mind spike consume your coalition shadows based on how many you have and each stack does 10 percent more damage so if you get a Mind Spike proc, you then use it on your Coalition Shadows, make sure 200% Coalition Shadows, or uh, Mind Spike be buffed by your Coalition Shadows, which then buffs your mind, uh, your mind Melt for your instant Mind Blast, which if you have another Coalition Shadows game brought up while you're doing that, then that your Mind Blast gets buffed times two with the Critical Strike chance. You see, see what I'm getting at? Everything just ping pongs with this build, and you just have consistent pressure. Not only that, down here, Anytime you take a critical strike, you also will get a Coalition Shadow. So essentially, you being hit also will give it to you. Also, what Coalition Shadow is really good for is once you actually consume it with Mind Blast or Mind Melt, or uh, Mind Blast or um, Mind Spike, sorry, 
your Cola Shadow will will erupt and then give you 10% more dot damage. Well, what does that do? Well, down here, when you take, after you get Tet Shadowy Insight, you get Dark Evangelism. Well, Dark Evangelism on your Mind Flake gives 10% more uh, periodic damage when you just channel it. So you channel it, you get 10% more dot damage. You proc a Colors and Shadows, you get 10% more dot damage. So you have 20% more dot damage passively. Then you have all your procs buffing each other for more damage, right? Then you have Shadowy Insight, which gives you free Mind Blast on its own. So you can get free Mind Blast into free Mind Blast into a free Mind Spike into a free Mind Blast. And I'll show you guys, once I show you all the talents, I'm going to go to a target dummy and show you just how strong the procs are, right? Okay. Next up, we get Shadow Crash. Why are we doing Shadow Crash? We, we, it gives us our, our free spread of Vampiric Touch on all the targets, which what does that do? It gives us all of our procs. Getting our dots out, or if you can't cast, you throw it out there. If you have two melee on you, they both get dotted with VT and Shadow Word Pain. There you go. Don't have to cast. And it does really good damage. Uh, let's see. Get Unfolding Darkness. I almost missed that. That's when you cast Vampiric Touch. You get a free uh, Vampiric Touch with the application that does a bunch of damage. So that's really good because what that will also do uh, is allow you to spread your damage faster. You get a little bit of burst from it. Uh, but it also correlates with everything else, right? So if you can get your dots of three targets at once right let's say you do damnation on one target and frilling darkness on another like the healer for instance and then shadow crash on both the melee you have triple spread dots on everybody no casting it's really nice okay so next up on this uh we're gonna go down to encroaching shadows so encroaching shadows increases your devouring plague initial hit by 75 percent why is that good well if i look down here devouring plague does 4959 damage and the dot does 600 so it's the the application at this point is almost as much as the dot so you're gonna have so much insanity with all this build since all this stuff that procs gives you insanity that every time you throw up a, a um divine plague it's gonna do a lot of on hit damage and then with that you get my version i get mind flame insanity Every Devouring Plague gives you Mind Flay Insanity, which reduces the cast time, gives you more insanity, and hits for 80% stronger or something like that than a Mind Flay. So you get a faster Mind Flay times two, more insanity, and that's every Devouring Plague. So every Devouring Plague does on hit, gives you a Mind Flay Insanity. Mind Flay Insanity channels your Dark Evangelism, gives you Coalition Shadows, Coalition Shadows, with buffs your Mind Spike and your, your Mind Blast. You guys see where I'm getting with this? How every single ability for Shadow Priest has, works with each other? It's, it's freaking insane. Gram Damnation, what I was just talking about, how everything buffs each other with the Damnation. you got to grab it. Malediction reduces Damnation's cost. You only want to get one because you want to get one in Insidious Irie for the pre-patch build. Insidious Irie, when you have dots on all, all three of your dots on a target, your Mind Blast does 20% more damage. When you want that, you want to get Damnation lower to get all your dots. Your dots will proc everything, which will give you Devouring Plague. Devouring Plague... You, then you can Mind Flay Insanity, get an instant Mind Blast, which gets buffed by Insidious Irie. So, again, I've said it like 10 times now. Everything buffs each other at all times with this build. There's no need for Dark Ascension. That's a cast, first off. Another cast you have to do. And for 25% damage on your mind your mind games. Essentially is what it is. Yeah, you can, you can essentially use that to buff all these. But if you go this route, you're not going to be able to, uh, if, if you go down to, you know, Dark Ascension and Ancient Madness, that's two points you, you're not going to be able to have for these other builds, which also means you're not going to get some of these other things on purpose because you don't have what you need for the, for the build, right? So this is the build that I run right here, guys. This is my exact build that I've been running. Again, I'll, I'm going to upload after this tutorial the, the, the games I played, and you'll see I'm doing the most damage. There are some games, obviously, I don't if it doesn't last too long or anything like that, but if it's a decent game, I'm just scaling more than anybody and i have huge burst damage in a lot of these games also so let's go ahead and go to a target dummy which i am not on a flying mount so that would have been that would have that would have been a little sucky there wouldn't it all right let's go ahead and mount up let's go to a target dummy doo, doo, doo. oh yeah and my pvp talents uh catharsis so catharsis, when you take damage, you get this. Uh, I think of like a thorns, but an accumulated thorns. You take damage, it and puts this this buff on you, 
and then you can just shadow or pain somebody and it releases that damage back to the target and there's no internal cooldown but it can only stack to 15 percent of somebody's hp which is around 17,000, i want to say 15 17 000 hp right now or and it can crit there have been times i've put on damnation on somebody well damnation implies shadow or pain so what does that mean it also will put on catharsis so i've damnation somebody with the on hit effects that you actually damnation does damage and then the on hit from catharsis i have damnation somebody for like forty thousand hp it's pretty insane uh, and it, it, there's no internal cooldown. Precognition, uh, if you juke a kick, you can't be CC'd or kicked again, and you get 15% haste. So essentially, if you juke a mage or uh, a melee, they can't stun you afterwards. You can just heal yourself, get your, your debuff back up, or you can get all your dots out before they have their CC up. So it's really good, especially against the jungle. You can precast something. They'll kick it. They'll you'll, uh, trap your healer. You get a free MD right there, and your dots up. Uh, very good. I like it. Very good into melee. And then always siphoning. You should always run siphoning. Never take it off. All right. So let's go ahead and go to this uh, target dummy. All right. So we're going to start with Shadow Crash, right? So you throw Shadow Crash out. Boom. See how both targets are dotted? They're both dotted right there, right? And look, I already got a Coalition Shadow. Increases the damage of your next Mind Blast or Mind Spike. Okay? So we already got that up. Now, Mind Flay, right? It goes and stack your periodic damage of, of Dark Evangelism. Look at that. I already got a Shadow Insight. I already got Closing Shadows. I already got a Surge of Darkness. So look. Instant Mind Spike. Instant Mind Blast. Damnation. Instant Infernal and Darkness. Go ahead and dot this guy too real quick. And right there. Devouring Plague. Instant Mind Blast. Instant Mind Spike. Go ahead and Shadow Crash somebody. Now if I want to burst, right? I can stun somebody. Pop my PI Mind Game. There's my burst. And then just continue the rotation. It, you, you And... It, you just proc consistently. If you have three targets, imagine if you're in an RBG, if you're as an RBG, right? You get all three targets out. Look at this. Now you mind playing Sandy because I, I use my Devouring Plague. I got another spike. Super fast Mind Blast. Look at all these buffs I have. Look at this. Look at all these buffs. Look at this. Just consistent procs, boys. And this is why I run this build. I don't have to cast. I do so much damage. There, there's no point to run... Dark Evangelism or Void Eruption. You could, if you want a little bit bigger burst, but I'm running this proc build where I'm doing consistent. Look at 7K, 6K. Just cons just look at this. Consistent instant damage. And this is why I run this build. It's not worth, for me, in my opinion, to run a more bursty build than a sustained build. And I get a lot of damage. I do a lot of damage through um, my uh, Mind Play Insanity. Right? So if I dot somebody, right? And I just devour and plague, mind play insanity. Look at that. 2.3k crits, uh, uh, ticks, 3k crits. Is I think what I just saw there. All right? We'll do another one. And this, uh, your mind play insanity gets buffed by your dark evangelism and it gets buffed by your coalition shadows. So if I send another mind play insanity, look at that. Mind play insanity to 28k right there. Or 27k right there. And look at it. Now I have, I have more procs. More procs. I'm, I'm not gonna, I can continue forever and ever. My point being is, this is the why I love this build. It, it's it's just consistent pressure the entire game. It melts people. You can, you can dots do damage now. Um, yeah, this that's this is my recommendation, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll put more, more guides out there. Uh, more builds out there. This is just a quick run through. Uh, you know, not really quick, but quick ish. Um, if you guys have any questions about why I'm running anything specific or what you guys have any ideas that you want to run, if you want my opinion on it, feel free. If you guys want to link to anything, let me know. Come to the Twitch, twitch.tv slash Phobia Gaming. I'll be more than happy to link uh, my builds and my, my add ons or whatever you guys need for Dragonflight. And just make sure you guys drop a like and a comment. It helps the algorithm. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. After this, I'm going to upload the uh, games. So go ahead and enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you next time. I don't want to use it. Let's kill uh, Ellie Shaman, yeah? Mm, okay. I want to murder him. I'm going to do kicks off the rip. I got one kick out of the way. Fear this guy. Let's go, 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 go. I'm gonna stun him right now. Go. Do it. Big deal. I'm gonna slice heal too. Big deal. Running. 
I'm going. I'm going healer. I'm going healer. Uh, I can't. I have too much committed. My dots are all on him. Actually, I'll spread. I'll spread. I'll hit, hit with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put my fiend on him. I have a death. Oh shit! I'm pressing the wrong button. I don't know what the mind I... games mind is. Oh, it's this button. Pressing the wrong button this whole time. I can kill this Ellie like right now. Do a kick. Here it comes. Big Ellie damage. Big Ellie damage. Hit me. Hit him. Uh, Fear and healer. Kill. Please. My game is sanity. Application. My game's kill. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the damage is never ending. Oh uh, man. <laughs> Look how much damage I did, dude. Holy shit. Long beta build was imported to PTR. I mean, I believe it, man. This is, I would 100% believe it. This was an old, old beta build that just, like, they updated to put, uploaded the wrong one. I'm gonna yeah, stun I'm going healer. Yep, yep. Going healer. Okay, okay. I'll fear this guy. Double fear. Science healer. One shot him right here. He's dead. No, no, get me, 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 get me. I can kill him. He dies here. GG. Game. Woo! <laughs> stun this guy. Got a priest. You want from me? He wasted his PI on me. Look at this. Stun this. I got hit by his thing. I got the heal to full here. Respects. I can yeah. win. EJ, it never ends, man. It never ends. What happened? Someone in the chat said, can you, can you do smite as disc and then smite as holy? So I did, went over, I did smite as disc. I go to change my talents. It's 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 blacked out. I can't change talents. I can't change specs. <laughs> Nothing is working, dude. Oh, my. I got in just before I, I killed that other priest just in time. Wait, you can't, zero CR, yeah. you can't change specs, you said? Nope, I can't change specs. It's blacked out. <laughs> Nothing works, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> like, the beta was better than this. Oh, shit. Just... I feel you bad. Disc or disc? Yeah, seriously. Well, you don't play Holy anyway, so what are you bitching about? Well, he was trying to. Someone asked me to test the difference between something for Holy and disc, and I can't even chase talents. Uh, you know what that means? You just, tell, you just tell him that means Blizzard means wants us to play disc. Like, that's how you get around that one. The sign. Wow. The sign, yeah. Mm, what you let's kill this demon hunter, yeah? Or you want to go healer? Uh, well, I just wait. I just wait for somebody to use cooldowns. Oh, I can't get cooldowns. Uh, okay, yeah, go, go this guy. I'll science healer. Big damn. Punching him out of that. Fearing healer. Fearing healer. Death. Kill. 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 He dies here. Oh god, I have so much damage still. Uh, MCS darkness. You can pi now. I'm fine. I actually have so much yeah, damage here. There. Heal myself for 10% damage reduction. <clears throat> He's stunned. You just killed the healer. Yeah, that's what I'm on right now. Spamming a spell on him. Fearing this guy. Killing him right now. <laughs> oh, God. Dude. The just... Church Cleave! <laughs> <laughs> Side says he can't reverse. All right, ready for the ready for the big mind game. Oh, I, I stunned him. I stunned him. I stunned him. I stunned him for you. Kill. Hey. Kill. Ah, oh, that wasn't that much. Hey, we we uh, love. Let me know. I'll stay back. Still not. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not running shackle and dead. By the way. Just an FYI. Oh, this healer's right in the open for us. Looking all fucking prime. Oh, he's. All right. Do damage to me, DK. Bring him out in the open for us. Oh, nice grit. Oh. Big damn here in a sec. Ready? Big damn. Watch this. One shot. I'm going to one shot him. Oh, he lined me on my one shot. No. Fuck you. Oh, I got his AMS anyways. Hell yeah. All right. Here comes the damage. I'm embracing here to keep us topsy turvied. All right. My catharsis is charged up. I'm going to stun him in two seconds. Go ahead. Do it. Send it. Send the catharsis. Uh, nope. I'm going to go healer with it if I don't die. Okay. Here. I am to you. Go on, I'm healer for you. I'm gonna fear. Yeah, 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 go healer. I fear him. Yeah, I fear him. Open. Fear him. Open. All right, biggest damage ever. You gotta cleanse me out of that if you can. Fuck! I pressed the wrong button. That's right, kind of good. They're rotting. I'm rotting the fuck out of them right now, bro. All right, here we go. Hit here we go. Hitting healer. Hitting healer. Hitting healer. Hitting healer. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Good. 
Oh, wait, does he? Yeah. Wait, does he have the? Does he have the legendary on? Nah, nah. Okay. Unless my weak order doesn't work, which which it most likely it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's gone. Dude, catharsis, bro. <laughs> Oh my! Woo! Mine was 30k. Are you talking about fucking Idol of Yogg? Oh yeah, but you, I, I mean you don't expect any Idol Yogg anyways right now. This kill is fucking Warlock. It's a death demo lock. Nether portal. Okay. I'm gonna trinket this guy. Dude, Stun. Silent. Silent. Oh. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I used a little bit much there. A little bit too much. Can you just tell me? This guy has a million fucking pets. That kills. Uh, I'm fine. Kill the Shadow Priest here. He's dead. That <laughs> <laughs> was mid mind games cast too. I didn't even do my damage. I save my catharsis for their burst. Let him fear the mark. Just lights wrath, dude. I don't know. Do it. Kill him. It's all you, bud. Um, <sighs> trick there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the healer. Okay. Okay. On a monkey right now. Yep. Some mind games here coming in hot. All right. My catharsis too. Yep. Oh death! Oh double death! Um... Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Maybe holy priest will get ball, get nerfed. <laughs> he fucking one shot that guy. Not me. That was his mind games. Fail Obelisk, I'll kill that one second. Got it. Dude, your damage is insane. Oh yeah, I forgot. <sighs> You're using Covenant abilities. Uh. I didn't kill him with a Covenant ability. Uh, I saw you in a boon, so I don't I can't believe you. Like at the end of the day, you had boon on you, so who knows, man. We've all seen your videos. Uh, are you gonna dispel me like even one time? Dude, I don't I can't tell nah, you. You're in a CZ! Nah, the frames are hey, it's cool, it's cool, man. <laughs> nah, don't it's cool, bro. <laughs> Here, let's go. I'll, I'll, I'll one-shot him for us. I'll one-shot him for us. I didn't, look at there. My mind games didn't even one-shot him. It did 10% of his HP. Yeah, mine did 31k. It's okay, yeah, yeah. dude. This is real, right? Nah, yeah, it's real. All right, we don't yeah, feel uh, I don't feel bad then. Going in. I'll 1v1 him. Fuck it. We'll make it more even. Get the practice. Line to soul rot. Go get him, man. It's all you. Drink it. He's gonna die to rot. This is one thing I love about Shadow Priest right now. I can just rot. I can, I'm like a fucking. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like an affliction warlock. Watch this. Ready? Root all his pets. Line the soul rot. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, that root's so nice for shit like yeah. that. Yeah. As you, oh, you finally almost beat a shield. Yep. Watch this damage though. Lords on here it. comes. Here it comes. Fucking axe I, boss, me, dude. Oh, uh, I'm uh, that, not the, even playing, dude. The 100 fucking stun uh, or heal fucking. I get to kill him here. Line again. <clears throat> Poor guy. Rot him out, baby! <laughs> Just rot him out! I'm gonna flick it! You tried to steal my kill, bitch! You did get it! Fuck you, dude! <laughs>